Hi, everyone. How are you? Good? Great. Uh, so I'm CEO and co-founder of Dr. Lib, uh, and I'm 29 years old. Previously, I was a semi-professional tennis player. And when I look at this slide, I thought it was exactly the same. So yeah, it's my presentation since two years, because we created Dr. Lib two years ago. And so previously, we launched some other ventures uh, in Europe. La Fourchette was the most famous, the number one on LinkedIn online booking platform for restaurants. But now, what is Doctolib? Two concepts. The first one, improve healthcare access for 500 million inhabitants in Europe. It's so hard, as you know, to find a doctor, find an appointment, find details about doctors, book a doctor, and manage medical bookings. Second concept, quite easy, for doctors and healthcare facility, we try to transform their life and their organization. In Europe, 8 billion medical bookings for public and private, 2 billion in Germany, 4 million doctors, 0 0.6 million in Germany. Our concept is quite easy. For doctors, we provide a booking management software tool, like a Salesforce for doctors with CRM, and we manage their online presence. So we try to improve booking management, reduce no-show, and attract new patients. For patients, obviously, we try to bring a new experience to access healthcare easily. We started, as I told you, two years ago uh, with my two tech co-founders, Ivan and Jesse, in France. And in two years, we grew from zero to 250 employees. And we will hire 150 employees this year in Germany and France. We grew from zero to 10,000 doctors, from zero to 350 healthcare facilities, like hospitals and clinics, the only in Europe with online bookings. And as I know that many of you in the room are investors, uh, we have the chance to, uh, to collaborate with top French entrepreneurs like N Nicolas from Blablacar and Pierre, but also uh, with Axel because we raised uh, 23 million euros in 18 months to, uh, to build this business and to make it great. So, where are you now? We are really at the beginning of our adventure. As I told you, 4 million doctors in Europe, we have only 10,000 in France. Like 1% of the market in France. Obviously, we change the life of people in France because in Paris, for instance, 20% of inhabitants in Paris, they have already booked an appointment with Dr. Lib and they have a Dr. Lib account. In Germany, it's one of the reasons I'm here today because we have a headquarters like five minutes from here. Uh, we are launching, so we have a, a German CEO, a German team, five people, and we will hire between 100 to 150 employees in all cities in Germany. Uh, and we'll try to create the same community of doctors and patients in Germany as we did in France. But what is our plan? Our plan is to focus only on booking management software and online bookings. Obviously, there are a lot of other topics to speak about uh, in healthcare, like teleconsultation, like chat, and so on and so on. But I think that one strategy, one business model, one service, one product, it's the only way to succeed on this market because the market is so fragmented, so complicated. It's like a marathon. I think some of you maybe ran a marathon. It's like a marathon, street by street, city by city, to build a community of doctors. And so, focus only on booking management software, plus CRM, plus online bookings for patients, and that's it. We are today the leader in Europe, so two times bigger than doc planner in revenues three times bigger in online booking, uh, only focus in France and Germany. And if I have 
like 30 seconds to conclude. Uh, I would say that uh, we have built a great culture, and I know that my team in Paris are looking at us today, so I would like to say thanks to all my team because they did a great job during two years. We uh, hire a lot of people and we go on the field and they work like all day long during two years. And I hope that in Germany we'll build the same culture because when I asked Mamarco what I have to say today, he asked me, okay, you have to say only one thing, what are you key of the success or beginning of the success? And I said, it's the team, obviously. We build our team around the SPA culture. So what is the SPA values? It's service, patience, attack, ambition, humility, and all our talents and all our action plan are built around that. So I hope in Germany we'll find the same SPA culture entrepreneurs that we found in France. Thank you for everything, and if you need something, I'm here. Thank you.